and we're back with more Game of Thrones episode 2. I think we might be ending this at this part. We'll just say how, but let's move on. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us then? Well? If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without cell swords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? He didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. <laughs> <laughs> Consider what charming is. Well, <laughs> this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north. So we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. Besky, you don't have to come. You can head to Astapor or even Car. No, I'm coming. Nothing there I can't handle. Um, bye. Ponte Renas. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Guess we'll find out. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. The hell? <laughs> it's 
Somebody was in there. Hello? Some happen. Everything's still here. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Somebody was rummaging through him. Was someone going through my book? I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My Lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir, I'll make sure she knows. It cannot hurt. Most ladies her age. Enough, <laughs> Maester. Just remember that she'll want to see gentleness in you too. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. You're making me nervous, Mother. Don't be. You'll do fine. My Lord, she's here. Roderick? Hello. You look... You're really... Welcome to Iron Rath, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? It's good to see you too. Please. So, here we are. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you? Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, 
Be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick, I um, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron. No, he just wants to show our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family, I... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. And I was inclined to agree with him, until I received a curious letter from Marjorie Tyrell. What did it say? Lady Marjorie suggests, in the kindest of terms, that we go through with the marriage. And as you can imagine, a suggestion from a future queen is difficult to ignore. Do you know why Lady Marjorie would send this to me? She and I have never corresponded. Yet now she writes me directly. Mira must have asked her to intervene. I didn't know your sister carried such influence. You act as if you had no part in this. I feel manipulated, Roderick. A house like mine can't refuse a suggestion from Marjorie Tyrell. I'm being forced to marry you, Roderick. Is that truly what you want? Would you do that to me? After everything we've shared? Of course not, Elena. You're free to choose. <sighs> Thank you. I was afraid you'd refuse to back down, but you must care about me more than that. Let us stand together, Roderick. I will tell my father our betrothal stands. Deepest apologies, my lord. Yeah. I've tried to stop him, but so, he... the rumours are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. Our houses will be joined, in fact, and we will stand proudly beside them. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Ryan attend the funeral, but I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh. She practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son home to mourn his dead father and brother. If you've heard Ryan in any way... Spare me the threats, Roderick. He's fine. I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Perrinhall. Now, I hear you're ordering them around, and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. Not enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure, here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was so self-righteous it made me sick. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing. And we'll get to see Ryan again. Fine. Very good. 
Now then, since you're a loyal subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. Seriously? The other half of the Ironwood You fall. can't Ramsey do that! Ramsey Snow said... I know what Ramsey said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his Ironwood, he won't care. Especially when I tell him you've sworn to obey me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, Not true. I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Straight up assholes, I'm telling you. Ooh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. <laughs> Isn't that clever? I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I did it for Ryan. Maybe I'd have done the same. That's all he did it for. My lord, mm -hmm. are you well? Seven fucking hours. Can you blame him? You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. <laughs> Seems to think you might be trouble. You might be right. He said worse about me. He said, you fought for the north with the foresters. You were there, at the twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and, and the next... The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Walter Frey and Roose Bolton will pay for their treachery. I'd like to believe you, but men like that don't get what they deserve. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They killed my lord. I couldn't stop them. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the night's watch. Those here who will hate you for who you are. Of course. Southerners who will call you traitor. Mm -hmm. Northerners who will call you craven. Mm -hmm. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. 
You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. Why would they hate me? You're different than them. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wagons. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers, thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. So considering what's going on now, yeah, we're going to stop here in the next part. Perhaps we will reach the conclusion of episode 2. Stay tuned for more Game of Thrones right after this.